What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, today we're going over at Grattler Mirage. A uh, fun little side option as far as AoE speed clearing missions is concerned. And we're also going to be talking about how this weapon, the Kuva Grattler, might be like one of the worst weapons after the self-damage changes are added back in Lua's Prey update in likely December. So, went over a couple things there, and also just showing a fun playstyle you might not know about. Uh, before we get into it, though, make sure you're still the channel. Daily Warframe video uploads. We're also going to be live tonight on the live stream channel with lots of Warframe, so come on, stop by. I'm going to be looking to run some Kuva Survival Requiem, if that's actually up. Alright, so this is going to be a basically a PSA on the, the Kuva Grappler. This thing is actually really good, uh, but unfortunately, once they do the self-damage changes that are slated to be coming out, uh, this might become like one of the worst weapons in the entire game. So we'll have to go ahead and take a look at that. So... This weapon is actually not a primary, it is a heavy weapon, or actually an arc wing weapon. So if you want to use this, you need to first uh, get a Kuva Lich that has this weapon. You need to kill the Kuva Lich. I've got a 60% toxin roll right now. Uh, and you need to actually, after that, use a Gravamag arc gun unlocker to use this in normal missions. Okay, so after you got all that stuff done, then you can rock this in missions. We look at the, the stats right here. It's a arc wing gun, so it's not going to have the best mods and actually not the best base stats either. So uh, it's got a 9 meter explosion radius. That's what we're basically looking at right now is the explosion radius. Uh, but as far as the other stuff, we got a full auto weapon uh, with okay crit stats and okay status chance uh, with impact puncture slash and then a blast on the explosion of the 9 meter explosion. The toxin the bonus we've got, we've got viral and heat. So if you want to do this exact same build I'm doing right here, I have a Heat Riven, just put the Heat Mod in this slot. It's the same thing, just with less crit chance and less multi-shot. And the reason the multi-shot is so helpful is because, like I was saying earlier, these uh, Arcwing gun mods are pretty weak. This is the multi-shot mod for Arcwing guns. If you don't have a Riven, this is all you get, 60%. Uh, the Elemental mods are pretty decent, 120% there. But yeah, if you want a Riven, get multi-shot, uh, and preferably like crit damage, crit chance, etc., etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and show this how, how this works. Uh, it's Viral Heat because of the... Even though we have a toxin roll on the Kuva Grattler, we, we need to have three three mods in there to get uh, viral heat, as far as I can tell. So This thing is going to be for basically speed clearing uh, missions. It's not really meant for the steel path, but let's just show how it is against level 190 uh, arid heavy gunners. Now, we're going to be using Mirage because Mirage gives you more AOB coverage, and that's one bullet from this thing. Of course, it is full auto, so if you want to uh, spray down a ton of enemies, go for it. And you don't... As, as far as I'm concerned, that's actually not that bad. I, I definitely wouldn't use this as like a main DPS source on the steel path. But if you start going to like a normal mission, that's when you start uh, getting big damage out of this thing. And big uh, AoE, too. So here's me using Mirage's buffs. Since Arcwing gun uh, mods are so weak, I would recommend, if you're going to be using the Kuva Grattler as like a main uh, primary in your mission, use something like Mirage, use something like uh, maybe even Nidus or like Harrow. Or maybe even uh, Rhino, because you want to be speed clearing stuff real fast. And I know it says that Cascadia Flare is procking up there, but Cascadia Flare is only active on the weapon it's equipped to. So that's basically the gist of it, uh, is, you know, killing enemies really fast. Uh, now here's the problem. So we have a 9 meter explosion radius. For a full auto weapon, that's extremely good. Like that's, you would think that's not a problem. But when Echoes of Lua, or whatever they're calling it, Lua's Prey, comes out in December... Uh, where they're basically slated to be adding self-damage back. Now now it's going to be bad. It, it, when self-damage gets added back, this will probably be one of the worst weapons in the game. Think about it. Nine meter explosion radius, full auto, and uh, you know it's doing good damage per shot. If you accidentally fire two bullets near yourself, you will die. Because uh, self-damage will be up to 75% of your health, and it will break shield gating. So, I, I am not being disciplined with my trigger finger at all right now. I'm just basically... It's, it's pretty much like a full auto like a full auto explosion auto rifle that it, that's going through walls. Now keep on when you are using a heavy weapon, you are going to be falling a little bit faster and you're moving like less quickly uh, when compared to if you're using a normal primary. So it doesn't have that problem. Uh, but for like everyday just speed clearing missions, I mean we got three we got we got multiple mirage guns and it's nine meter explosion radius each and it's basically one shotting all these guys. So. Pretty, uh, pretty chill and pretty good, actually. Uh, it's you know, it's not going to be replacing your, your Tonkor or your Ogress or whatever, uh, but this doesn't have as much of an ammo issue as like the Brahma and stuff. So if you're looking for like a, a quick speedrun uh, weapon as far as Mirage is concerned, feel free. Uh, I'm using it on Saren as well. 
Uh, and I haven't really tried it on, like, Garuda or anything. But remember, any frame that can buff weapons and, like, buff all weapons will make this thing even more deadly. That's why Garuda's passive is so good. It buffs, like, nearly everything. Um, Mirage is good, too, because she gets multiple weapons. And we are using Energized Munitions here. Uh, I have an Energized Munitions video from, like, months and months ago uh, with Mirage before the AoE changes came out, or for the ammo. And, you know, she's pretty good with um, giving you more ammo with Energized Munitions. And especially on this, it does, it does work on Arcwing guns. You can fire Arcwing guns for even longer. So, um, yeah, I am concerned, guys. I, I, I have a feeling that the cell damage changes might hurt more weapons than they should be. Uh, if, if I was DE and I was doing these self damage changes added back, uh, I think that they're definitely going to be going a little bit too ham here. Uh, maybe revert the ammo changes if you're going to be giving us self damage. Like, having both just feels anti fun and it's like you're trying to, like, make us not enjoy the game anymore or something. Uh, what they also could do is make it where self damage is only added for actual rocket launchers. So a weapon like this Kuva Grattler that has a nine meter explosion radius and you know does pretty good damage, maybe they maybe they wouldn't give this self damage, but they would give self damage to the Tonkor, they'd give self damage to the Ogress, they'd give self damage to the you know the the Czar and Brahma and all that stuff. So I feel like that actually is probably what they should do is like and like weapons like this shouldn't get punished. Like think about how many kinds of weapons there are similar to this. Now this is probably the most extreme example of a weapon that would get completely wrecked by self damage getting added. But like you know weapons like the Trumna is the Trumna's alt fire shot gonna blow us up now? You know like is the Zakti uh, delayed explosion uh, darts gonna gas proc kill me now? Like there's so many so many questions. It's like I don't even remember like does the Glaive Prime gonna do self damage now? Like, I don't even remember if the Glaive Prime did. I think the Glaive Prime did used to do self damage before this got added. So. Um, if they really don't want to use these explosion weapons, I guess this is how you do it. You just make them so, like, such an ugly option that you just don't even want to think about them. Uh, but I, I think it's a little bit uh, unfair. And as far as if you would were to get a uh, Grattler here, what element should you go for? I've got, like I said, I went for Toxin, but I can see a Radiation one being pretty good, too. The Radiation roll is going to pretty much save you a couple mod slots if you're trying to go for a uh, elemental, like, combination build. So, for example, you could go for Corrosive Radiation on a radiation Kuva Grattler, and you could not go for a radiation uh, corrosive build on the weapon on, on the roll I have with Toxin. But at the same time, radiation talk a uh, radiation corrosive is very niche, and this build the, the the raw viral build is great. The the raw corrosive build is great. Viral heat is great. Corrosive heat is great. I don't really know if I'd really feel the need to run uh, <laughs> corrosive radiation, but do keep in mind that that is an actually impossible build with our current setup. So. Hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, you know, it's not... It, I actually, like, this is a good playstyle, but I more wanted to, like, highlight the fact that, like, some weapons might get, like, indirectly, like, extremely wrecked by the self-damage changes. This being, like, honestly, number one. If you can think of a weapon that would get more wrecked by, like, indirectly wrecked by self-damage changes uh, in Lua's Prey, let me know down below, because I think this actually might be the, one of the worst ones. Uh, but weapons like, you know, like the Shadow, the Bonico, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of worried, so... I'll see you guys next time. Uh, also, I'll be later tonight on Twitch. Take it easy. Peace.